Here you are. The Smoy Gang is here. I hope you had a very, very nice stream, bro. I hope you stream some uh, some Guilty Gear, but I wouldn't mind even if you stream something else. Because I do know that uh, you tend to be a little bit uh, uh, fed up with the game. But uh, it's always a pleasure for you to raid me, man. Always a big pleasure. Thank you again, man. Anyways, here we go with the first match of tonight. It's gonna be none other. Oh, they are actually not in the correct order. <laughs> so give me just one second. Please respect the order of uh of uh what's it called the order of uh of positioning. Like first player is on the left, right player is on the right. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Right on the hand, we have one slot here. Oh, Kidoki, Bridge and Cookie, here we go, the Chinese flag, and we're good to go. Good timing, I was uh, swinging in the bat first, I think that's good to hear. Good old Gold Lewis, I hope you, uh, you, won, <laughs> you won a lot of matches today. Okay, that being said, here we go with Fubar Dog having a pretty nice uh, life lead right now. Lancelot being on his last leg right there, oh, goes for the Beyblade, finds the opening. <laughs> wow. And Fubar Duck using the quick Blue Roman Cancel to get out of the corner and using his Shageki to finish this first round and take it. So let's see how this turns out for Lancelot, hopefully. Wow, big counter hit on the Beyblade. Unfortunately, he cornered himself. Fubar Duck takes this opportunity to apply some pressure and deal some damage. Goes for the jump in. Baited the tech, goes for the low. Gets the wall splat. <clears throat> Good lord, oh, and here we go with the bite. Lancelot finds the opening with the command grab. <laughs> Gonna get the corner carry. Oh, and the wall spot at that as well. Nice uh, damage right here. Oh, and here we go with the forward BRC from Fubardock. Forces Lancelot to the burst. Probably Fubardock wanted to do quick BRC. <laughs> Maneuver right there to, um, to jump on Lancelot. Unfortunately, he probably missed the timing. That being said, oh lord, here we go with the wake up overdrive from Lancelot. Which, unfortunately for him, he got blocked by Fubar who was expecting it. And ends up taking the first match relatively convincingly, not going to lie. Let's see how this went out. Oh yeah, you know, the, uh, that's the DNF uh, song, right? Yeah, I haven't heard it in a long time either. <laughs> and here we go with Lancelot finding the opening and forcing Fubar to pop the burst. Lancelot gets rid of the clone, but unfortunately for him, Fubardock was waiting right behind and punishing him on his recovery flame of um, the frame of the <laughs> extending H. Fubardock goes with the juggle, gonna get the wall splat and wall break. I started playing Happy Gals a bit more recently. Once you get used to guns, he's very fun. Yeah, he seems like it. Whoa! Zangeki from Lancelot. <coughs> wow, why is he from Fubardock? I tried to go for potentially a grab, but Lancelot was a little bit too uh, aware of it. Managed to get in the bar, eh? Can quite seal the deal, though. Especially the left scapegoat setup. Yeah, they are pretty nice, I'm gonna lie. The, uh, I can understand the appeal of the character. Well, it's always cool to have, like, an automated, like, pressure... An automated pressure, uh, tool. <coughs> Hubardot maintaining them uh, concentration points right there. Making sure that he is not off point. Definitely does, does not want to miss his snipes. Oh, and Lancelot going for the big combos. I think he's gonna pop. Yes, he is. That's an unfortunate for him. Ah, Ubar Dog manages to bait the burst and take the second mat very convincingly as well. <coughs> Let's see if Lancelot can find some sort of adjustment to bring the momentum back. We shall see. Hmm. And quick opening from Ubar Dog tried to bait the burst. But Lancelot being very patient, delayed it, and managed to uh, hit Fubardock with it. <coughs> Miura Kenta-san, follow us to eat it. Thank you And here we go with the wall break. You're using the overdrive, Fubardock has the advantage, goes for the side switch. <coughs> and Lancelot waking up with the overdrive, finds the opening, gets the full animation, by the way. My poor resource management led me to very emotional moments. I got zero bullets and I managed to clutch with one bullet reload. Ah man, that's the life of the the life of the uh, the happy gals, man. Lancelot, unfortunately for him, waves the 6 ah goes for the grab. We go with the low and again with the delayed grab for the kill. Nicely done by Lancelot. Finally puts 
one round of the board. <coughs> Again, with the grab, Lancelot probably onto something right there. Probably figuring out that Fubarduck was a little bit too passive. But this time around, Fubarduck went for the Abare. Managed to get out of pressure, but immediately Lancelot find the opponent again, the uh, opening again. Big damage right there using your drive. Wasude Yuki into the wall break. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go with the forward. Ah, Fubarduck goes for the YRC, forcing Lancelot to pop the burst. Here we go with the golden burst from Fubarduck. <laughs> Finds the opening, unfortunately didn't believe in it. Probably uh, scared of, of the uh, the clone that Lancelot threw in his way. And here we go with the overdrive. <laughs> Gonna get a hard knockdown from that. <clears throat> and here we go with the Shageki from Fubar Dog. Manages to take this round as well. This is set point for Fubar. Wow, get the anti air snipe. Here we go with Fubarduck forcing Lancelot on the ground. Ah, Lancelot going for the command grab yet again. Here we go with the two, the three K. A little bit too far to get the two H to connect. Big two S counter hit. Ah, Fubarduck couldn't get anything out of it, unfortunately for him. Wow, here we go with the RC. Fubarduck trying to shimmy. I guess out of the corner. Nice six P from Lancelot though. Wow, and Lancelot with the counter hit using the Beyblade should be able to seal the deal. Good lord, here we go. Lancelot not out of this yet. Hmm, let's see how this spins out. Mm. <coughs> oh, sorry. Board up with the opening. Couldn't quite force Lancelot to pop the bridge though. Ah. And the cojones on Ryan, man. Goes straight for the grab. Tries to, uh, yeah, to... Invite Lancelot uh, by pressing buttons. <coughs> to jump, to jump over him. <coughs> Good lord. And here's where he goes. Fubardog goes for the empty grab for the kill. Again, Fubardog on match point. Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> uh, round start 6p from Lancelot, though, man. Oh! Unfortunately, badly timed his meaty right there. Got grabbed by Fubardog. Was able to get the side switch. Lancelot is out of the corner. Wow, I thought he was gonna go for the command grab. <coughs> you can see Lancelot mixing it up a little bit. Not always going for the command grab, obviously. Very nice 6 right there. Lancelot should be able to seal the deal. Yes, he does with the sending H into the wall break for the kill. Still match point. And the big start of the round from Lancelot should be able to get the wall break. <coughs> Hmm. Regal with the 2S man, Lancelot getting the pickup, forcing Fubar to pop the burst. And this time around it's Lancelot going. Oh lord! The burst has been made it! <coughs> Here we go with the Deus X. Bardock with the hard knockdown. Ah, this time around does not go for the empty grab, and you should be able to seal it with Air 6. <laughs> Good stuff from Fubardog. Takes it a pretty convincing 3 2 1. Anyways, on to the next battle. Still a very strong Biken player. A very a loyal one as well. He's been uh, participating extremely regularly to uh, here on online tournament Bro Joke Up. <coughs> a returning uh, top eater, by the way, of the previous iteration of the Bro Joke Up. Unfortunately, never won one, but was very close to. <laughs> An early type. Definitely looking forward to how he is going to do. Fucking asshole being sick and shit, how dare you? Yeah, I know, right? What an asshole I am. <laughs> and Noshi Oru san, Foroshi Tadaki, Ariato, Zemasu. And Kem, Mumumumar san. Thank you very much for the follow, welcome to the Bro Jokes. Again, here we go with the jump in from stuff. Finds the opening. Couldn't quite get the juggle, though. Here we go with the <laughs> Roman Castle to extend his pressure. Early type finds the side switch. Goes for the RC extension. Oh, and goes for the command grab. <laughs> that was so cheeky. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. And again, another Alpha Blade to get the kill. First round goes to early type. Uh, reverses the situation. It definitely looked as though Stella was gonna gonna take it. But yeah, early type, man. Not afraid. Early type with the aerial grab. Keeps Stella in the corner. 
Here we go with the, the Sukiyaki pressure. Sukiyaki. <laughs> Very type going with the Schmixes. Oh, or not actually. Look at the damage. Damn. A lot of weird anti smoking PSA recently. It's called Madness Combat. Okay. I'll check it out, bro. <coughs> I'm actually uh, currently not smoking cigarettes anymore. I switched to Iquas. So, um,. It might seem very, very... I don't know if it's due to the Aquas or not, but yeah, it's, um... Ever since I switched to it, like, my throat is really, really not working very well. I think it's probably due to the fact that, like, Aquas, they work a little bit like, uh, how do you call it? Like, vapors? Vapes, I think? So it's basically condensed, uh, you know, water and shit. And, um... Well, it's not condensed water, it's just, like, uh, it just heats up, like, tobacco in the, uh, for, for, uh, for vape, for, uh, the Iquas. But, I don't know, it makes my throat super freaking dry. And it makes me want to, uh, yeah, it makes me just want to cough all the time, basically. But, the funny part is that, by smoking this, I still feel that my lungs are less, like, uh, less, uh, affected than if I smoke cigarettes. I don't know if it makes sense. But I do feel like I have more, like, um... I feel like I'm less like uh, <coughs> I'm less affected uh, lung wise, but my throat definitely does not like the eye I can tell. That being said, here we go with early type, and uh, he did get the first match, I believe, and also got the uh, first round of the second match. Let's see if still I can find a way throat cancer instead of lung cancer. Boy, yeah, exactly. Choose your poison, bro. <laughs> but I don't know if it's due to this or I really don't know. Maybe it's the brand that I'm using or. It's really strange. Mm. I don't smoke that much either. Like only on weekends, using only the Iquas, and it's like I don't particularly like the smell. But at least I get my fill of nicotine. So, but anyways, we'll see. We'll see. I was joking. How every smoking grunt gets killed in this horrible. I think. I see. I see. I think your shoot show fucked you up. To be honest, I don't think it's a shoot show. Actually, I think it's just me like smoking too much during this weekend. I did smoke a lot this week, uh, this weekend with Swam. We did an all night in the karaoke and in the bar. So yeah, <laughs> we definitely smoked a little bit too much. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. But I've been like coughing for a while uh, ever since I started smoking like the Iquas. So I don't really know. It's kind of uh, I don't want to stop Iquas because I feel like it's less like uh, dangerous than smoking. I guess it's well from like studies and whatnot. But. Uh, yeah, I still, I still, I, I cough way more, so I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Anyways, anyways, let's go back to the match. <laughs> My life is not that interesting that I should take, like, stream time to, to talk about it. And let's go back to the match. That, oh, finally still, I'm putting a one round on the board in early type with the entire man. <coughs> uh, Barsan, let's see, let's see, let's see. <coughs> Barsan. Hmm. Fubar! <clears throat> uh, Fubar, if you're watching the stream, please uh, contact. Uh, uh, just one second. I'll send him a line. Just a minute, please, Nage. Nage is calling you on, on the mail, bro. I have a line of Kurima stand, I have a line of Kurima stand, I have a line of Kurima stand. もしえっと、こうなければばいい。あと試合、えっと、配信試合2つ、えっと、ま、配信してから、えっと、失格にさせていただきたいと思います。Okay, here we go with the next one. I started smoking zero nicotine base. Yeah, that's that's good. And, oh, and here we go with early type taking it a clean 3 to nil though. Good lord. Early type with the very, very, very... So Xeri versus Yamashita who uses Ramothal, actually. Okay. I'm uh, looking forward to this. We do have another uh, famous player who is also called Yamashita and Roxal. I do believe these are two different players. Obviously. Well, not obviously, but I, I suppose. Unless there's been like a change in uh, characters or whatnot. But anyways, we shall see how this pans out. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna... <coughs> Go grab a really quick uh, bottle of water because I'm gonna die.
Okie dokie, here we go. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> China's internet is crashed here. All hail, all hail, Winnie Ping. Yeah, but uh, actually, Xeri has some decent internet, from what I understood. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, anyways, here we go with the overdrive from Yamashita. Gets some pretty nice uh, damage in. Unfortunately for uh, him, Xeri did end up taking the first uh, match, so let's see how this pans out. And here we go with Yamashita getting the wall break. On the verge of taking this one, actually. Of taking this round, at least. I really want to make myself some tea. Holy freaking hell. I think I'm going to make myself some tea. That was a pretty nice dash he made, indeed. And here we go with the... Wow! Is he going air to air, man? Oh, no! A little bit too far for the grab! You guys, I'm going to make myself a tea. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. The tea is boiling. That was a big bonk, yeah. <laughs> and here we go with the burst from Xeri, wanting to get out of pressure. Gets the grab. Throws it much the closer to the corner. <laughs> mm, wow. Am I still out of the corner? Almost. Ah, uh, but Xeri, yeah, was on the bridge of getting punished, but... Thankfully for well, uh, hopefully, hmm? thankfully for him, he uh, had some bar to use in order to make it safe and Roman cancel. Yamashita with the counter hit. This is going to be huge. And look at the damage, mind you. Ziri, uh, not Ziri, but May does have one of the best guts in the game. <coughs> be right back. My dude, why did you do this tournament? You should have rested. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I, I don't like to like uh, cancel. Uh, even if I don't feel, you know, top-notch. And here we go with the overdraft for the kill. <laughs> Okay, sorry for the wait. Finally, 
My tea is done. There you go. Oh no, that was a badly timed Kujira right here. Unfortunately for Yuri. How much that still lives. Let's see how this pans out. Could you ask somebody to replace you on hosting perhaps? Nah, it's fine, it's fine. I got this. And just like this. Battle Latte Move versus Takari and let's see how this pans out. <clears throat> Xiri looked very good at predicting. Yeah, no, Xiri is a beast, man. He's extremely strong. Like, I. He just came out of nowhere from China and he's very, very strong. Ah, good lord. He never tasted that good. That as good as today. And here we go with Atemu wanting to keep that corner position. Gets the 2H juggle. Should be able to seal the deal. Using the RC to extend the combo and make sure that Takarin bites the dust. First round goes to Atemu. Let's see how Takarin <coughs> adapts. Which is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Takarin gets the grab. Burst for the... Ooh la! Atemu with the golden burst, man. Does get counter hit right there from Takarin. Gets a clean combo off of it. <coughs> Takarin with the checks. Doesn't want a random uh, Beyblade coming forward his way. No snail. There you go with it. Oh lord! Big no rainwater, but that was definitely a <laughs> that was probably an execution error, but it's okay. Takari managed to um, well to save it by RCing and continuing his combo. Here we go with the jump S. Ooh lord. Forward Fukio Atemu getting checked by all sorts of normals. Ah, a little bit too late for the OTG, unfortunately, for Takari. Here we go with Atemu. Trying to invite Takarin to press buttons. <coughs> Level 4 H. Takarin with the entire airs, man. Gets the jump in. And here we go with the RC extension. Gets the knockdown. Atemu wanting to get that old thing. Nice. Oh no! No, Takarin! That was an unfortunate burst, but Atemu couldn't finish his plate. And this is definitely gonna come back to bite him in the butt. Oh no, the command grab! Is that gonna be enough? No! Almost got it though. Woo! Oh no! And Takari with the 2k check gets the kill. First match goes to Takari. Very nice patience. Didn't overextend. Just waited for the absolute last moment to get the punish. Well, just waiting for that opportunity to get the uh, punish and the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, here we go with the grab by Takari. Goes for the jump. <coughs> Wants to invite Atemu to press uh, buttons and to take. Very nice 2HS, uh, the 2S, I'm sorry. 2S counter hit from Takarin. Goes for the extension station. Goes for the Know the World. Just uh, charges it. Let's see how this pans out. <coughs> and Takarin. Ooh, look. Ah, unfortunately, he couldn't use his The World. <coughs> Atemu going for the command grab. And the wake up overdrive from Takarin. Should be able to get the, yeah, the hit. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, enough to kill using the extension of the <coughs> command grab. Very nicely done by Tatai. I don't know if it's situational, if it only happens on like counter hit or, or whatnot, but that was very nicely, uh, nice character knowledge from Tatai. Okay, here we go with the front full kill, man. Atemu wants to find his way in. Just found it right now. Forces Tatai to pop the burst. <coughs> Tatai with the checks. Ooh. Here we go with the Lensengeki and the The World. Oh no! Too late to catch it? What? That's unfortunate. Unfortunately for Takarin, he wasted bars right there. <laughs> Thought he could get the, the World, but the Juggle State was a little bit too late for him to get, so this is really unfortunate. But it's still okay. Takarin still managed to get the second match as well. Atem in Dire Straits needs to make something happen if he wants to uh, stay alive in this winner's bracket. Here we go, the 6P. Very nicely done by Takarin. <laughs> Atemu finding the opening, forcing Takarin to pop the burst. And here you go, back in neutral, man. Atemu just walking forward, does not want to commit to any, like, normal. Definitely does not want to get scooped by any normals from Takarin. <laughs> here we go, dumping H. Ah, and Takarin finding the opening. Didn't believe in the snail. Ooh, ah, gets hit by a nasty 5HS counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of that. Is this gonna kill? Ooh, ah, that was so close. Look at the damage, good lord! Here we go with the R2A and Atemu finding the opening with the standing S for the kill. 
Very nicely done. There you go back to uh let's go to the second round. Takarin finding the opening. Wow, and that 6P man right in the block strings of Atemu. Takarin knows no fear. That being said, here we go, Atemu finding the opening. Pushing Takarin in the corner. Rainwater. We go jump back. Is Oh lord! And unfortunately for Takarin, a badly timed command grab made it so that Atemu was able to get a counter hit on its startup frames. We go with the clone. Oh lord! That you that that must have been a YRC. That must have been a YRC. Atemu definitely had the correct read. But unfortunately, yeah, Takarin uh did it a little bit, delayed it a bit. No! That's a nice burst, Atemu. <laughs> that was an unfortunate burst. Takarin, man. The burst baiter, man. Takarin loves to bait, bait to, to bait bursts. He does it so often. Okay, here we go with Atemu. Finally forcing Takarin to pop the burst. Both opponent do not have any bursts anymore. We'll go with the rainwater. Ooh, ah, big Axel Bomber. Gonna get the juggle. Ooh, a little bit too far too for the rainwater to connect though. Here we go with Atemu walking forward. This is a set point, by the way. Here we go with 2S, 2S. Wow, the big standing edge. He wasn't able to get the conversion, though. <coughs> ah, here we go with the, ah, the whiff punish, man. Takarin and the whiff punish. Mm, Takarin does not want to overextend, man. Ah, and he gets the kill with the jump back S. Good stuff. Yeah, mo chutto tabun. Eto konshimatsu wa ma nakanaka tabako sui sugite da to wa mo futsu ni karaoke hitoban mo zutto tomodachi to issho ni eto ita ita se de osoraku ima eto nodo ga gutcha gutcha ina teru nesu. Nao desu bete wa watashi no sekinin nan desu. Arigatou gozaimasu Niko san. Ma so desu ne, daijoubu desu. Eto osoraku ma ima chodo ocha to ma tsuno nani? Hachimichi haiteru. えっとお茶は用意してるんで、まあそれを飲みながら今実況させていただいてるんで、どうにかまあなるかと思うんです。だけどご心配えっといただきありがとうございます。頑張ります。<笑> okay, and here we go with oh the new uh the new um uh stage select by the way. I absolutely love this stage. It looks super cool. Yo analyst, welcome to the Ambrosia Cup. How are you doing, bro? And welcome back, actually. And here we go with Hagiara, man. Ooh, Lord. Is much as under this? Unfortunately, not not today. But we do have, uh, we do have, uh, we have Dark Necro, we have Mugi, we have Takarin, we have uh, also Roy, RX, early type. And uh, from the names that you might know, that's about it, I guess. Also, we have like Uisu Buri, who won the previous Rojo Cup, uh, who's in there as well. Stella, uh, a Caffeine. Uh, yeah, we have a yeah, we, we have a pretty decent amount of uh, big killers actually. So hopefully you'll find your uh, you'll find uh, a character or a player that uh, yeah okay 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 so, yeah strong player. Thanks, Newsy man. Good luck to your troll. Yeah, thanks man. No problem. I'm I'm currently like I'm living, I'm 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 like commentating while drinking tea. It, it's it's actually doable. If I have like tea right next to me, I put like honey in it and a little bit of lime juice, well lemon juice, and it's hot as shit. So it's it's currently like sustaining my throat and making so I can uh, comment it without uh, without uh, coughing too much. But yeah, it's it's a little bit hard, but it's fine. It's fine. Love this stage. Asuka looks extra cool when you play. Yeah, he does, man. Asuka is super freaking cool, though. Did you guys try him? Like, he's so fun. Asuka is extremely fun, but I feel like you need like a you need an engineering degree to like really get his shit going. You know, it's, it seems so hard to play, man. New uh, color Nago reminds me of Susano. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> and here we go with Hagiara catching the bag dash from Mugi. Here we go. Tea time. Hagiara with the corner position gets open by. The oh lord! And Mugi, man, with the burst bait. Gets that uh, second round. I love the work you do with the streaming and commentary. Thank you very much, Alice. I'm sorry if I don't commentate as well as I usually do. The reason being that. I spent all weekend smoking and uh, doing karaoke with my friends, so my throat is completely out of service. But I'm doing my best right now. But hopefully, yeah, it, it'll hopefully it'll be uh, sufficient. But thanks, man, for the uh, the kind words. Much appreciated. <laughs>
Anyways, here we go with Moogie and the corner. Oh, wow, that was a cheeky grab from Hagiara catching Moogie right out of Fukio. In real life, bro, of course, we all need to, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. Much appreciated. Anyway, oh, Lord, here we go with the soccer kick from Hagiara. Manages to take it by the skin of his teeth. Good stuff from Hagiara. Takes the first round in uh, quite a convincing fashion as well. Good stuff. But that being said, well, his opponent is Mugi, the best Tagori Yuki currently in Japan, so it wouldn't be surprising if Mugi manages to find a way to reverse uh, the tide of war, of battle. And here we go with Hagiara with the tick pressure, wanting to, uh, using the uh, Dominion actually to push Mugi in direction of Hagiara. Again, here we go with uh, the burst, man. Oh yeah, I need to add the uh, Asuka's theme to uh, my playlist, by the way. That's a nice reminder, uh, Chared. Much appreciated. I actually wanted to add it, but I forgot. So the fact that you put it is actually life-saving, because I I wanted to add it, but I forgot. So I'm just going to add it right now. Uh, gravity, yeah. But I do need the official one, though. I'm going to go real quick on YouTube music. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Go to gear, go to gear, go to gear. Was the official one? I think it's this one. No, it's not. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna search on YouTube music. <clears throat> and here we go. Oh Lord, Mugi almost got it, man. But unfortunately for him, he popped at the absolute worst moment possible. Driver! Good Lord. Okay, perfect. We have it. Uh, best result? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, Legacy of King. Yeah, is the best. So let's add it to uh, the gaming playlist, and we are good to go. Perfect. <coughs> good Lord. Okay, anyways, here we go with uh, Hagiara going with the jumping, forcing Mugi to pop the burst. Mugi definitely having a problem with this matchup. I do know uh, from... I do know that he's not very fond of this matchup and that, you know, well, basically, um, Jago is not a favorable matchup for uh, Nagori Yuki, which is, I can definitely um, understand. I can definitely fathom. Uh, that being said, here we go with Mugi in the far chest. Ooh. Side switch from Hagiara, using the minion to extend the- Oh lord! That grab, man, are you a kite player, bro? Good stuff from Hagiara gets the second match as well. Mugi in dire straits, man, on the verge of getting sent to the loser's bracket, and we haven't yet reached the, uh, the, um, what's called, the semi-finals either, so... Quite surprising, but anyways, here we go with Mugi, this is his... He does have a pretty steep, uh, mountain to climb right now, <laughs> gets scooped by the 2D counter hit. That being said, we're going Mugi and the 6HS on the ground. Ooh. Yeah, you can see Mugi definitely being wary of that 2D, man. It's been playing a number on him ever since the beginning of this set. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Hagiara making good use of the uh, guard point. Trying to invite Mugi to press a button. <coughs> and Hagiara with the confirms going straight into the Elysian driver, man. Driver! And he even uses the RC for, um, for added, uh, oh, okay. Ah, Alexa, no, can you not stop? Just do it. Just do it. Uh, Lancelot, Lancelot, Lancelot. Lancelot, if you're watching, please contact RX. Ah, <coughs> uh, where is it? Yeah. I think Lancelot called me recently. Yes, he did. Hey there, Lancelot. Your opponent is waiting for you. Please contact him through Tamino. Hi, it's a little bit Lancelot to me. Lancelot to me. It's a mail. 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 It's a <laughs> okay, and here we go. Uh, what is that? 
And you're even with the Moogie making a comeback right there. Oh, freak my life. That's actually two to one, yeah. That's two to one. Okay, we're good. So Moogie <coughs> getting one on the board finally, man. Let's see if Hagiara uh, wishes to stay with uh, Jacko, and he does. Let's see how this brings up. Okay, Lancelot is uh, back on track. He has been contacting our research perfect. So let's see how this spins out. <laughs> oh, good lord. <clears throat> Again, here we go with Ayana and the quarter pressure. Ooh. Wow, and I got it with the counter hits, man. On the verge of taking this one, actually. This is set point. Let's see if Moogie can save it or not. Wow, here we go with the jump in, man. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Moogie, the explosiveness of this, man. I really like the color, by the way, of, uh, of uh, his Nagoriyuki. Looks really, really cool. Anyways, here we go with uh, Moogie. Ah, hitting the guard point, though. Okay, yeah, trying to take it a little bit. Yeah, more slowly. Fortunately, lands on a minion. He's still forced to, forced to block. Here we go, the standing key to get rid of the minion. And man, Hagara, man, with the guard point to make it so that uh, Mugi cannot kill the minions, man. Good stuff. <coughs> you go YRC from Mugi saying, no, I don't want to deal with your pressure anymore. Oh, Lord. Here we go with... Oh. And it's minion time, and ooh, I got I was on the verge of baiting a burst. Oh lord! And here we go with the six HS for the kill, and just like this, asshole. My bad, my bad. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go real quick to the uh, toilet. I'll be right back. Mankind knew that they cannot change society, so instead of reflecting on themselves, they blamed the beasts. Heaven. Okay, so, uh, Ninomai is a bike in main, but I do believe he decided to uh, choose Axel specifically for this matchup since he obviously knows that Oni Dark Necro is a uh, Naguriyuki player. So let's see how this pans out. Very nice confirms right there from Denji Ha. Gets a full combo and corner positioning. Gonna get the knockdown. We go with the tick pressure. Dark Necro holding onto his wits. Gets open by the close S while backdashing. Here we go with a big damage right there, all things considered. Okay, here we go with Dark Knit. <laughs> trying to find the opening. Wow, tried to go for a command grab, man. But then, yeah. Ooh, gets open this emerald. <coughs> wow, the double Beyblade, man. Look at the damage. Dark Knit on the verge of making a comeback. Here we go with the snail. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> Very nice blocks, but gets in the end opened up by the 2k, man. Good stuff from Dark Necro. Manages to bring it back. Okay, here we go with the... Oh! Here we go with the blocks. <laughs> Dark Necro finding the opening. Tried to go for the 6p, but... Ninja didn't commit to any aerial attack, unfortunately for him. Very nice with Punish. Uh, not with Punish, recovery Punish. Here we go with the blocks. Ah, Denjiha getting grabbed. <laughs> Here we go with the jump in. Dark Necro going for the extension station. Oh, nice blocks from Ninomae. Here we go with the 2S. Oh no! And the awareness from Dark Necro immediately back Fukioing as soon as he saw the the, the counter hit <coughs> the counter hit indication. 
making it so that he uh, baited the burst from you know my very nicely done. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, here we go with the Lensen Geki. Two best again from Ninja, but man, Dark Necro so solid, not committing to any aerial attack on unless he is absolutely certain that um, Ninomai is not going to try to enter him. Go to knockdown. Damn, Ninomai backdashing right on the 2D active frames, man. That's crazy. Good grab from Dark Necro. Goes for the command grab. Oh lord, and just let it rip. <laughs> Denji are saying no, let me leave me alone. We'll go with the oh no, Dark Negro. Oh, going for air, air Dark Negro. Oh no, almost got the kill. And this should do <laughs> good stuff from Nino Mai. Taking the first round of the second match. There you go, the Shizuri Yuki again. The Shizuri Yuki man for the opening. Gonna get the wall break? No, he doesn't. Oh lord, the cheeky Dark Necro, man. Oh lord. That was an unfortunately... <laughs> Here we go, Art. <coughs> Here we go with the air Dark Necro. <coughs> mm. Air water, air water, uh, not air water. Rain water, rain water, but Dark Necro is on point with the grab. Okay, Dark Necro on the verge of taking this one as well, actually. Here we go with the Beyblade. Closest, no one's home. Almost got the opening. Good job, two S counter hit. Ah, that's a lot of blood right here. Here we go with new Dark Knight run the command grab and a regular grab for the kill. I think we might see a character in change uh, for the next match. I think we are going to see one. Or not. Okay. Well, uh, you know my committing to Axel, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately, I don't know, but we'll see. Ah, oh, Lord. Dark Negro going completely ham with the food kills, man. No. No, Lord. Can we go with the punish? Good stuff from Nino Mae. <coughs> Get no entires. Ooh, the big 2 HS counter him, man. Got to do a lot of damage. Full combo in the corner. Kaboom. Get out of here. The 2H. Yeah, Dark Necro wary of this exactly. Reason why he didn't commit to attacking Nino Mai on the wake up and goes and counters the overdrive with his own for the kill. Match point for Dark Necro. Let's see how this wins out. Ah, very nice knockdown right there from Dark Necro. Gonna get a no key. Ooh. Nice if the instant block from. You know me, unfortunately, gets command grab for days, man. We go to Linsen Geki. Oh, Lord, and Dark Necro going for air Dark Necro just like this, man. Dark Necro taking it a quick 3 versus Hagiara. This is the first match of these uh, winners' semifinals. Let's see how this spins out. Hagiara definitely no slouch, though. Uh, he does have the experience of fighting against... <coughs> We're good, we're good. Okay, so, uh, sorry for the way he... Ah, uh, damn, this is not good, actually. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, here we go with the command grab from Nage, man. And Nage already down from life, and Hagiat actually in the lead. But Hagiat, that being said, he is actually <laughs> caught in the corner. Gets mixed for days and ah, oh, Nage almost got the kill, but not quite. We go with the forward BRC, oh lord! We go to RC and Nage going straight for the grab for the kill. Good stuff from Nage takes the first round quite convincingly. Well, actually, man, not convincingly, but ma manages to make a comeback. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure from Nage, uh, from uh, from Hagiara. With the snipes, ooh, you have to hold this bomb. Good stuff from Nage with the confirms. Goes for the closest. <coughs> wow, that far is though. But Hagiara does have the corner positioning. That being said, Nage with 
they managed to pick up the trumpet. And the reflexes from Hagira to back dash right when Nage was trying to command grab them. them. And Hagira canceling straight into the illusion driver. Probably gonna RC it. Nah, doesn't even need it. Look at the damage. That was sick. Good lord. Anyway, there we go with uh, the third round. I got definitely showing that he has what it takes to uh, at least take a couple of matches at worst and potentially taking the match, uh, taking the set at best. <coughs> okay, nice awareness from Hagira to, uh, to run forward Nage when he uh, tosses his head around. Very nice blocks. Ooh, yeah, I got to hold it. Ooh. Very nice jump in from Hagara. There's a side switch and the grab. You know my from previous matches, Umaman. He's one of this year's. Uh, oh yeah, here you go. That's right. That's right, Umaman. I don't understand why he changes his freaking name all the time, and I keep forgetting that. Yeah, they're all the same. Like his name right there in the in in this tournament is Denjiha, and uh, previously was Ninomae. and yeah, and he entered the uh, the tournament under uh, the Evo tournament un uh, under the name of uh, as you have just uh, so nicely pointed out. Under the name of Umamanya. Yeah. I don't understand why he doesn't stick to only one handle. It's so annoying. Because I keep forgetting it's it's Umaman. But yeah, you're right, you're totally right. Uh, Ram player and uh, also sometimes a uh, biking player as well. So yes, you're totally right. Thank you very much for the uh, the heads up. And uh, that being said, we're going to go with Hagyara and the standing H counter hit. Oh, good lord. And here we go with the jump in from Nage. Of course, I guess. Whoa! That was sick! The conversion from freaking Hagiara using the bomb, the explosion of the bomb. That was so sick. Good stuff from Hagiara. <laughs> go straight for the uh, illusion driver. And here we go with the entire man. Hagiara definitely feeling himself. Goes for the grab and the kill. Hagiara in a pretty nice lead for now. If he manages to take this, it's gonna be 2 0 for him. Let's see if he can actually manage to, yeah, to keep it going. Oh lord, uh, good recognition from Nagi that the second hit of his mix 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 actually managed to hit Hagiara. Okay, ooh lord, here we go, we're just sending H counter hit and the corner carry. No, here we go, the soccer kick. Hagiara going straight to the illusion driver. This is going to do a lot of damage by the way, a raw, yeah, that did a ton of damage. What's gonna be the mix? We go to jump in. Ow, oh, and the take pressure from Nagi going for the grab. Oh, look. No into air. Nagi with the knockdown. He goes for the. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, Nagi in dire straits. Having to deal with all of these minions, man. Now you can see yeah, Nage trying to hit, yeah, trying to hit Hagiara to get rid of all of these pesky minions. But Hagiara manages to actually get the kill with the aerial grab and takes the lead 2 to 0, man. Nage in dire straits right there. Damn, I've hardly seen him struggle so much in this uh, in, in, in the matchup before. Here we go with the jump in. Hagiara almost got the juggle. Wow, nice guard point, man, in recognition that Nage was going for the spear. That was sick. Oh, Lord, and the 2k for the entire. Here we go with the, <laughs> the dive kick. Ah, oh, Faust is in the house, yo. Protecting his dada. With the jump in, your wig is on fire. You don't need no water, though. And here we go with the take pressure from Nage, man. Definitely wanting to at least, yeah, at least get rid of the curse. Goes for the command grab. <coughs> oh, very nice option to like to catch the bad dash at them from Hagara. Good stuff from Nage, man. And here we go. Finally manages to take one round. You gotta stop. Uh, you gotta start somewhere, anyway. Let's see if he can manage to take the second round as well. Nice and uh, nice, uh, look funny. We would just send engage. <laughs> and Nage getting the trumpet. Oh lord, gonna get a full extension combo using the, the cavalry. Nice to us from Nage. Uh, one minion is in. I get like, a knockdown. Try to go for the grab. And again, Nage man with the dive kick. He's been doing a number on the um, 
on the 2D of uh, of Jacko, man. <coughs> nice six P right there for real. I get uh, almost got the knockdown. Tried to go for an aerial grab, but Nagi was a little bit too far. You go to mix, mix, mix. Yeah, and you cannot punish this one. Oh, too far for the punish. Uh, unfortunately for Hagara, his minion has been destroyed. By the way, very nice XP. Unfortunately for him, didn't get the counter hit. Hagara, ooh, gonna get the corner positioning. Ah, tried to go for the soccer punch, but man, Naga just jumping out of pressure. Finally puts one on the board, though. Two to one. Let's see how this spins out. <laughs> An immediate man, immediate burst from Naga does not want to have to deal with any type of pressure. And look at the conversion! That was sick! <coughs> nice job goal from Nage, man. A big 5 HS man. <laughs> you should tell him. <laughs> tell him. Tell him, Grim, tell him. Anyways, here we go with Ooh, Hagiara with the blocks. Almost got his back dash caught by the mix 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 though. We go to soccer kick, man, and Nagi getting rid of all them minions. Almost got the juggle in the corner. There we go with Oh Lord, the bump almost got Hagia by the way. <laughs> okay, finally. Ooh, almost got a minion in. Very nice 6P. Ooh, gets the juggle. Look at that. Ooh, I thought I thought that Nagi was gonna wake up with the the, the overdrive. I swear to god I thought. Anyways, here we go. Oh, Hagiara trying to find a way in, man. Ah, getting a little bit angsty, unfortunately for him. Now he gets the whiff punish. Let's see how this spins out. And this standing age. Ooh. And unfortunately for Hagiara, he gets grabbed out of his jumping. <laughs> oh, nice burst there. That was actually a pretty nice burst to go through the meteor. I don't know if it was intentional, but it was definitely well timed. Our right, little pulse has been activated. Oh no, and the mix, man, using the meteors. Uh, using the scarecrow in uh, during the meteor attacks. You get a sight to it. Here we go to wall break. <laughs> ah, Nage, man, being so. Oh lord. Not afraid, to, not afraid to just press 2P. That is crazy. Good stuff from Nage. Okay, evens it out, man. Hagara, who looked like he was on the verge of actually taking it for free. Yeah, then just Nage, man. Bring it back. Good stuff. Let's see how this spins out. Take pressure and Nage is in with the grab. Get the bump is out. <coughs> I get a force pop the burst. I gets hit by the spear into the golf club, man. You hate to see it. And he's got all everything under the sun. Oh! That being said, Hagiara had to block because of his wig. This sentence is extremely fun, funny, by the way. This man, this Jacko, this Jacko had to block because of the wig. Anyways, here we go with the mix, mix, mix for the wall break and the kill. And just like this, <coughs> Nagi on the verge of actually taking this is set point. <coughs> ah, Nagi going for the side switch, using the mix, mix, mix. A little close S, close S, and a big close S counter hit. No, get the damage. Nagi sweep, exactly. Ah, Lord and Hagiara, man, on his la on their last legs. What is he what are they gonna do? Nice knockdown for him, Hagiara. Ah, tried to go for a grab, but man, Nagi is just on point. Oh no! The minion made it so that he could not juggle. <coughs> we'll go with the take run again with that pesky no! And the explosive head for the kill. And just like this, man. And here we go with the next battle. Dark Necro versus Takarin. So let's see how this spins it out. Now rip those colors off. <laughs> We're still gonna see some more of Hagiana later on. So he's still not out of it yet. So give him a chance, bro. Give him a chance. We never know. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the next battle. And both opponents letting the intro... Roll for some added dramatic effects. Okay, so anyways, my throat is hurting again. I need to make myself some tea again. Oh, 
squad. I feel like if I drink more tea than what I'm doing right now, it's currently like 10, uh, 10, 11 p.m. If I drink more tea, I'm probably not gonna sleep tonight, so it's probably not a good idea. But if I don't drink tea, I'm not gonna be able to commentate correctly. <laughs> Anyways, the dilemma of life. That being said, here we go with Takari in the corner trying to fight for his life actually to get out. There's the counter hit. Then get the side switch. Goes for the rain water. Dark Necro also out of the corner. Forcing Takani to pop the URC. <laughs> and man, Takani with the burst baits yet again. Ooh, the double Fukio. Double front Fukio. Got Dark Necro. Ooh, go, wow, what was that mix up? How are you supposed to block this? The four way mix up, man. Ah, and Dark Necro going again for the BRC combo and gets the kill. Only Dark Necro. Here's the first round. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, Lord. Got the double Fukio, bro. <laughs> Damn, Dark Necro not letting anything go. Oh, very nice of Barry there from Takani. Finds a way out, but gets hit by the jumping S. And Dark Necro did big damage, man. The big boy's damage. And get the wall break. Wow, Bad Fukio gets caught by the standing S. That was strange. Oh, Lord. Here we go with the standing S. Oh. <coughs> very nice. Oh, tried to get the, um, well, got the whiff punish, but tried to get the... Follow up with the command grab. You air Dark Necro in the house, yeah? And you can see Taganin noticing that Dark Necro has almost full bar of blood. Knows that it's his time to shine. Goes for the, the world for the kill. Good stuff from Takarin. Puts one round on the board. Nice with punish from Takarin. Goes for the Nsengeki. <laughs> Gets the hit. <laughs> Here we go to jump in from Dark Necro, trying to push Takani in the corner. Here we go to Sending H. Didn't went air. That being said, Dark Necro does have quite the amount of blood on the board already. Oh lord, here we go to the Oh wow, that we punish though. Takari in pushing Dark Necro in the corner. Dark Necro with the jump in. Dark Necro has a little bit of room to maneuver now. Has one RC. Okay, here we go to grab. Oh lord, that fake cross up in. Takani <laughs> still managed to block it. <laughs> Which is the most surprising. I definitely got hit. That was sick. Oh lord, what was that? Yeah, Takani just needs one hit. Oh lord! No! Not like this! What the hell? What did Dark Takarin do? He only needed one hit! <coughs> he only needed one hit! Ah, and Dark Necro finds the opening. Good stuff. Just like this, Dark Necro takes the first match, man. That was so clutch at the end. But I don't understand why Takarin didn't just try to grab. He had it. He like literally had it. Here we go to close S counter hit. Oh lord. <laughs> Here we go with the 2S counter hit. Dark Necro trying to push Takari in the corner. Gets the standing H counter hit. Goes for the command grab for the kill. Damn, Dark Necro on the roll right now, man. Steam rolling everything. Okay, here we go. With the take pressure. Almost got the <coughs> follow up. <coughs> Takari with the rainwater. Oof. Wow, and the Beyblade counter hit. This is gonna. Oh no! And Dark Necro, man! Baiting that burst. Gonna get the wall break. Wow, and here we go with the trade in favor of Dark Necro. Try to go for the quick BRC. But it still worked out in the end, and that was a quick second match, man. Dark Necro taking the lead. What is Takarin gonna do? Haha. <laughs> Immediate grab from Dark Negro, noticing that Takarin was running in his direction. <coughs> Here we go, Takarin. Uh, Dark Negro using the burst to keep the corner positioning, but Takarin, man, still find his way out. And Dark Negro with the burst bait, brah. What are you gonna do? Oh, Lord! Very nice grab from Dark Necro, man. Noticing that Takani was gonna was gonna 
uh, land just right in front of it. Ah, big Shizuri Yuki, man. He's gonna do a lot of damage. <coughs> oh lord, and that backdash from Takari. Oh, Air Takari in the house, and this should do? This is probably gonna do. Yeah, this is dead. Good stuff from Dark Nick for stand, uh, standing. Sending Takarin in the loser's bracket a quick 3 2 nil. Actually, this is well in the loser's quarter. Let's see how this fans out. <coughs> ah, good lord. They cannot change society. So, <clears throat> reflecting on themselves. so yes, Denjiha, also known as Umaman Rocking Axel versus Early Type, the strongest ship player in South Korea. <clears throat> Let's see how this fans out. Wow, here we go to 2S, 2HS. Nice blocks from Umaman. Wow, here we go to trade early type, almost getting the the, the juggle though. <coughs> oh lord, here we go to jump in. Early type going straight for the overdrive. Gonna get a pretty nice uh, positive bonus. Here we go with the, ooh, the, oh, the uh, cross up, man. And then Jiha man, getting opened by the overhead, is he gonna get, yeah, it's probably good, yes it is. Early type with a quick first round, man. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, okay, we we'll go to take pressure. Ah. Good lord. <coughs> Here we go to close S, forcing Umaman to pop the burst. Early tap with the jump in, gonna get a corner carry combo. Ooh, goes for the schmixes. <coughs> and early tap wanting to freeze. Oh lord! Wanting to keep that corner position, wanting to uh, continue the mixes. And gonna get the kill. Oh no, actually, yes, he does! Thankfully, using the RC for a guaranteed kill right here. Early tap with the first match. And then she just sticking to his guns. Here we go to Farke. Oh lord, nice blocks from Denja. Ooh, manages not to get hit by the grab. Ooh, he tried to go for the Agusto Bomber. <coughs> Probably trying to either bait the backdash or a grab. Here we go with early type, getting the grab. Ah, goes for the closest and manages to bait the burst. Good stuff from early type. Oh, Totoi, come out! Early type going in deep, man. Eh? Probably wary of a backdash. Reason why he did it. Ooh, no, too far. Here we go with Denji. How with the with the uh, the grab? Yo, born by midnight. How you doing, bro? Welcome back. And Umaman taking the first round of the second match with the far game. And here with the juggle, early type with the corner positioning and the corner combo. Look at the damage, damn. <coughs> okay, nice block from early type, doesn't get entire. Oh lord! Oh no, too far to get the hit of the 2HS2 2-2 uh, two -two hit. And Umaman with the correct punish, and again, man, early type with the overdrive. Should be able to get the kill using the RC extension. Maybe. Oh, actually, he does not have it. <coughs> but still, good stuff from Umaman gets the kill. Good lord. Umaman plays chip today. Uh, nope, uh, Umaman is uh, Denjiha, so he's the, the Axel player. Yeah, that's surprising, right? I didn't believe it either, but he's actually using Axel now. Which is not the the type of uh, character I thought he would play. He tends to be like Rushdown-ish. So yeah, if, uh, if you asked me, I would have thought that he would uh, be playing Chip instead of Axel, but nope. Yeah, that's interesting, right? Yeah. He does play Biken also sometimes, but uh, yeah, right now it's full Axel. It's really, really surprising. Anyways, early type up 2-0. to zero. It, Are we gonna see a character change? No, we don't. Denji is sticking to his guns. <laughs> you know, my also known as the man of many names. Exactly. I wish he would settle with uh, just one name. 
But he doesn't want to, apparently. Yeah, Chip would make sense to cover some of Ram's worst matchup. Yeah. He also plays uh, Baikin, by the way. <coughs> so yeah, I mean, he would have like three... Three choices, you know? Well, three rushdown characters, I guess. But yeah, no, he decides to play Axel. Not to say that, yeah, he plays him bad or anything, but it hasn't been working much for him. But then again, the people that he played against are not your normal run-in-the-mill, like... Uh, players, it's like he lost to Dark Necro, sent to the losers, and then right now he's facing early times, which is yeah, another very strong uh, Korean player. So, <coughs> wow! Oh lord, here we go with the two S counter hit. We go deep the bar from early time gets out of the corner. <coughs> oh, he did play Angie also. Okay, that's cool to know. Against again, using a different name again. How many how many names do you have, man? What's the point? Settle for one name, bruh, so we can all know who you are. And here's Arugo to grab. Early time with the corner position, tried to go for the overhead, but very nice blocks from Denja. Here we go with the Lensen Geki. You know my way, the immediate overdrive cancel. Incognito, exactly, man. <coughs> And just like this, man. Early type, you limit. Oh. I got a versus early type. What you must have? Ah, that's it. What can you must have? Ah, just a little too late. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Eto, chia, second, you just Hagiara san to early type san no no. Eto, chia, just mite ni masho. Okay, anyways, here we go with Hagiara san. Getting the entire. Ooh, very nice uh, whiff punish. And here we go with the burst from Hagiara. Unfortunately, got cornered by early type. Hmm. Here we go to Sukiyaki, early type. Ooh, couldn't quite manage to keep Hagara in the corner. Let's get the, uh... <coughs> Let's get the, um, what's that? The knockdown. And here we go with Hagara in the wall break. That being said, early type did get in tired. Here we go with the juggle. Oh, and early type with the wake up DP, man. This, this dude loves waking up with DP. We go second round. Early type. <coughs> Unfortunately, got grabbed. Here we go. Oh, the fake cross up, but early type managed to actually block this. This is crazy. We have to jump out, but early type with the standing key managed to trade with Agar and still keep the pressure going. He goes for the overhead. Go to Gamma Blade. Gamma Blade again. Okay, nice Akuma ball. Unfortunately, get with punish and early tap goes straight into the overdrive. <coughs> we go to early tap. Ooh, and the cross up. Oh no. Okay, I guess still not out of this yet, but only one hit might be enough to get the kill. Okay, nice block from Hagera. Not overextending. Almost got hit and got hit at the end. Good stuff. Early type up 1 to 0. <laughs> okay, and here we go with uh, the pressure from early type getting the cross up with the alpha blade. <coughs> Thank you very much for the follow, the high butler, and welcome to the road. Here we go, the side switch, not the side switch, the cross up. And early tab with the jump in. Gotta get the corner break. The wall break, I'm sorry, the corner break. Oh, early tab. Oh, Lord, and that BRC combo for the instant overhead. Good stuff from early tab. Gets the first round with the second map. Nice 6P from Hagiara. Gonna get the juggle. Oh lord, and the 5 HS counter. This did a lot of damage. <laughs> and Hagara going straight for the Illusion Driver. Should be able to kill him. Yes, he does. With a perfect, nevertheless. Now to the next battle. And Hagara getting the jump thanks to the minion. Goes for the same jump. Probably wary that early tab loves to wake up DP. 
Did he reboot the corner pressure? And how Hayata manages to clutch it out. Puts one on the board. One match apiece. <laughs> so here we go with early tap and the knockdown. Goes for the grab. Yeah, the pressure is real, man. Really hard to sustain it. Early type really knows how to really keep the pressure going. That uh, goes for the Abare. Ah, uh, Hagata loses his turn. Go with the Alpha Blade Wall Stick. Try to get something going. <coughs> oh lord, here we go the Alpha Blade. No entire. No, unfortunately, entire, but whiff. And early type getting the kill. Well, early type with the command grab. Oh, it goes for the Alpha Blade this time, bro. Wow, man, the forest counter. And you hate to see it happen. Very good wall spot and the wall break. Very nice jump in. Ooh, early type. Oh, he tried to bait the burst and managed to bait it, but unfortunately for him, it was a little bit too far to get anything substantial out of it. Still gets the kill with the 2k2 two, uh, standing two, uh, standing k and early type takes the lead 2 to 1 and on to potential final uh, match of this set <coughs> nice a bar right there from Hagata finds the opening but early type within the bar of his own almost got the juggle using the gamma blade Oh, big 2D counter hit. And early time going straight to the overdraft. Oh, don't try to come out. We go with the cross up, man. Early type on set point, man. It was so quick. Oh, Lord. Nice XP from high get up. Trying to get the offense going. Goes for the low. Gonna get the juggle. Goes for the low again and the grab. Oh lord. Nice juggle. Oh! Could have gotten the kill, no? <laughs> Skull got it, so it's fine. It's fine. Good stuff from Hagara. Still need this this round as well if he wants to stay alive. Wow, the big 2D counter hit. Early type being a little bit more reserved than before. He gets the juggle. Almost got the alpha blade. He goes for the cross up. Nice pickup from early type. Goes for the command grab. Good lord. Oh no, he almost had it. <laughs> and Hagata with the grab, man. Goes for the low. And a wake up DP from early type. Takes it with the 4S, man. Takes it 3 to 1. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, gonna go eat some honey. Get my throat uh, back on track.
Damn, that was a quick first round for Xiri, man. Holy freaking lord. Moogie definitely seeing like, well, seeming like he has some, uh, some issues right there on this particular matchup. Let's see how this pans out, though. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Born by midnight. Uh, I didn't catch a cold. Not that I think. No, not I. Not that I think I did. But I think I. <laughs> I smoked too much cigarette during this weekend, and I basically did an all night with a couple of friends, and we were in karaoke all night, just drinking, smoking, and you know, freaking, uh, well, or just uh, how do you say, singing our lungs out, and I think my throat didn't react to it <laughs> very, very good. That's the reason why I. My, I'm really struggling right now to just speak normally and not cough. It's like Mission Impossible. <laughs> Karaoke box so fun. It is, man, it is. Especially in Japan, man, where you have, like, actual personal, private karaoke's. You don't have to sing in front of, you know, a whole crowd or anything. It's just so good. It's just so fun. Especially since it's affordable, you know. All night for, like, uh, 2,300 yen per person and we had, like, drinks included. It's actually pretty cool. So it's like, it's like 20 bucks. It's actually pretty cool. I had a lot of fun, but my throat like kind of it, it hates me right now. It hates me for it, but it's it's fine. It's fine. Sounds like a great time. Oh, I had the hell of a nice time. Not gonna lie. Just that, yeah. I I should take my time to do these types of stuff when I'm not commentating like the day the day after. <laughs> That's what I think. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm having fun. We have a lot of very good players today too. So. But we usually always have very good players in the in uh, in recent like Brojo Cups. We have lots of very good players. That means that here we go with Mui finally putting one on the board. Like Ziri with the jump in. Ooh, ah, and Mugi getting open left and right. Here we go with the Iruka san. Again, Ziri being so freaking. Oh my lord. Goes for the Kujira. The whale. Look, there's a whale. Oh, look. Ziri tried to go for the command grab. Ingrid with the command grab of his own from Mugi again with the command grab. Ah, oh, Lord, and the YRC from. Oh no, Ziri! Ziri baiting that burst from Mugi. Very nicely done. And just like this, Ziri on a uh, set point, actually. Let's see how this spins out. Very nice grab from Ziri. Goes for the fake cross up. <coughs> okay, here we go the far slash. Mugi. Fighting for his life in the corner. Yeah, you can see him buffering the, buffering the what's his name? The um, I forget the name. Buffering the uh, the Beyblade. Ooh, but yeah, look at Moogie's uh, blood gauge though. Very nice with punish from Moogie. Oh lord, and the jump in from Ziri goes for the RC extension side switch. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Moogie on his last legs, just one more opening for Ziri, and he should be able to take it. Wow. Oh, Lord, and the 4K from Moogie, man. This dude does not know pain, does not know game. Well, does not know fear, I'm sorry. He does know game. Oh, Lord. <coughs> Damn, people jumping left and right. Oh, no. And the RC, man. Two cats. Uh, Moogie on his recovery frames. Oh, my God.
Okay, I have my tea. Everything's good. So let me see. The first uh, round went to Takarin, actually. Okay, good. Let's see if Takarin can finally put a stop to Kuziri's uh, rampage. We shall see sooner rather than later. Wow, man. And unfortunately for Takarin, he had the kill right there. But yeah, Kuziri was a little bit too far. Too high. And not in the one... Uh, party type of uh, highway. That being said, here we go. Xeria actually manages to freaking bring it back, man. Clutches it out with just like one sliver of health left. Xeria managed to take it. Now let's see. Oh lord, that was a big two inch Oh no! Takarin with the execution errors, unfortunately for him. Very nice XP from Xeria. And look at that, man. The corner pressure. Ooh, no one charm. And Xeria, look at the damage. Wow. Samurai Takarin in dire straits. Oh lord, here we go. The air to air in favor of Takarin. He goes for the grab. Oh no. <laughs> he goes for the instant overhead. I couldn't quite get anything off of it. <laughs> oh, and Zero with the quick Roman cancel for the kill. Takes the lead 1 to 0. Oh, again, here we go with Takarin. Trying to get out of the corner. Ah. That tastes so good. Okay, anyways, here we go with Xira in the corner positioning. Wanting to get something started. Get so far as counter hit. Goes for the low. And the solid blocks from Takarin, unfortunately, finally gets opened up. Oh, lord, and that close up Ziggy into the grab for the kill. Xiri taking the lead definitely right now. So let's see. Oh, big part S counter hit from Takarin to go straight for the command grab for the side switch. Again with the far S counter hit. So I'm gonna go this time goes for the Lens Sengiki. Fortunately for Ziri, he jumps over it, manages to get a, uh, a jump in. <laughs> Rainwater. Oh lord, and Ziri not afraid to run up straight 2k2d. Oh, nice! Reads from Xeri goes for the grab. He goes for the fake cross. It is so hard to, to not get hit by man. I try to go for it. Oh lord! <coughs> nice patient from Takarin, knowing that he was gonna get baited. Oh, big snail! Ooh, and Takarin getting a little bit greedy. Tried to go. For oh no! In the air Wow, the blocks from Takarin, man. This man. Are we going to Twitch? Oh, and the Totsugeki for the kill. Xiri, man, up two to zero. Holy freaking lord. Is he going to make his way to the loser's final? The, the loser's semifinal? We shall see. And here we go, Takarin trying to get something started, but Xiri being so slippery makes it extremely hard for him to do so. Thank you very much for the follow tree, uh, 3k cutie, and welcome to the bro, Joes. Okay, no rainwater here. <coughs> Xiri with the 6p again, man. And Takarin, Takarin in dire straits. Oh, gets the 2s though, counter hit. Gonna get the side switch? No, actually goes for the... Regular combo with two Axel Gumbo. Uh, Axel Gumbo. What the hell? What the hell is Axel Gumbo? Axel Bomber. <coughs> and Takarin with the optimization station and extension for the kill. Hmm, good stuff. Finally puts one round on the board. Rainwater start of the round. Finds the opening. Goes for the Lensengiki. Here we go with Ziri, man. Ooh, and the 6P yet again. Again, man. Totsugeki, uh, Totsugeki blocked into the 6P from Ziri. 
has been doing wonders for him. Takarin has like a bad habit of always going for standing P after blocking a Totsugeki. Hangziri definitely caught up to it. He's been like punishing it with the 6P right off the bat uh, several times in a row, so... <coughs> Takarin will definitely have to... Um... Oh, bad lead time again, the world. Why? Oh, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> Big counter hit right there in favor of Xeria, just like this Xeria is on set point. Xeria, man, on point with the air to air, on point with everything, actually. Oh, Lord. Here we go to jump in, goes for the grab. <laughs> oh, went for the delayed overhead. Here we go to Lensengeki, have to hold it. Ooh. And Xeri with the burst safe setups. Gonna get the wall break. Xeri looking very good right now. Has his burst. Well, doesn't have it anymore though. But he had it. <coughs> uh, goes for the. Yeah, goes for the low. Yeah, Takani man. Oh lord. Oh no. And the delayed burst from Takani managed to not get killed. Ah, uh, this is. Probably gonna be there soon enough. Yeah, you can see Xiri being wary of the of the overdrive. Doesn't want to get overdrive driven. Oh no! And here, two arrow of Xiri, man, clutches it out. Well, doesn't this is the winners final? It's gonna be none other than Nage versus Dark Necro. Let's see how this pans out. Stop blaming the beast. Okay, here we go. Heaven or Hell. Nage versus Dark Necro. Both players letting the intro roll out for added dramatic effect. And boy, does it work. Ah, oh, Lord. What abandoned patience. Here we go. Faust versus Nagoyuki. Nage versus Uni Dark Necro. This is the winner's final. Let's see how this pans out. Dark Necro draws first blood, no pun intended, with a knockdown using 2k2d. Ooh, try to bait that burst using the back Fukio, but Nage being as being extremely patient did not bite. Haven't seen uh Hisi in a hot minute. Yeah! Such a strong salt player from Corey. Exactly, yeah. I don't really know what he's doing currently, but I haven't seen him on the uh the celestial <coughs> floor either. So I don't really know whether he moved on to like another game or whatnot, but I tend to use, I used to, to like see him uh, like every other day, at least like twice or th three three times in a, in a week. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I haven't seen him in like uh, a good one to two months, so I don't really know what he's been doing. I really hope he didn't stop though, because he had a six all. <laughs> but we do have another um, Soul player recently who's uh, actually performing pretty good. His name is Tatsuma, I think. I think Tatsuma, he won a, a Brojo Cup earlier. Not earlier, but like uh, back, like the like two or three Brojo Cup before he, he won it. I think it's Tatsuma. He's extremely strong. Like he's probably the, one of the strongest salt player in the world. And he's only underground. But yeah, he's very strong. Anyways, yeah, Tatsuma. Yeah. Wow, the big overhead and Nage trying to bait that burst. But yeah, not, Dark Necro not giving it to him. <coughs> Go with the Beyblade. Dark Necro trying to go for the grab. Very nice six feet from Nage. Gonna get the mix, mix, mix. Woo! Oh, and got the mix up. <laughs> got the side switch. That was sick. Using the bomb. Character knowledge. Adoken, another Korean salt, but exactly. Adoken is probably still playing the game though. But I do believe that TC is a little bit stronger than Adoken though. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Is that gonna hit? It probably is. Yeah, it is. Ah, but still gets hit by the head throw. You hate to see it. I feel like you hate game feels stale for so long. Well, well, I don't know. I do like the the season two Eno personally, but uh, yeah, I feel like they could definitely add more stuff to make the game a little bit more enticing. I guess it wouldn't be like lost, but I don't I don't know if they are really going to do so or not. But we'll see. I guess. Yeah, I feel Arxis is preparing something against the new version. Yeah, they, I think they have to. 
You know, because like Tekken 8 is coming out, Street Fighter 6 is coming out, so they need to. There, there's even Grand Blue Fantasy Versus coming out with, uh, you know, brand new patch uh, with rollback as well, with brand new characters and shit. So they have to do something. The, even Dragon Ball Fighters is coming out, yeah, allegedly coming out with rollback. I don't know if they'll ever, if they'll ever release it or not. <laughs> like, I really don't know. Might as well just like. I mean, the, the game is so old, might as well just focus on, like, Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or something, or do something like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, you know? Like, just... Just come up with a, de a, a new upgrade of the game and then propose, like, rollback with it. I don't know, because, like, right now, it, it seems really hard for Dragon Ball Fighters to stay relevant when they've been announcing rollback for, like, one year and there still hasn't been any uh, dates. For which rollback is supposedly coming out to I don't know. Yo Marisa, how you doing? Welcome back. Thank you, Maj Majuan Extreme and Maj Maj Majik Stream and welcome to the bro drill. I prefer new moves as a new instead of old moves returning on. So yeah, fair enough. I, I do uh I'd I I'd, I'd accept it. <laughs> I'd accept it. I I'd definitely be down with it as well. Like I mean new moves like completely different from uh from um you know, the, the previous iterations of the game, I'd definitely be okay with it. As long as it brings new shit, you know? I just want to, like, I, I just want the game to change a bit in the sense that it, it plays different. Because I, I, I kind I, I'm really not gonna lie, I love Strive. I really love this game, but I really feel a little bit bored as well now that I mention it. Like, I really hope that there's gonna be something that's going to change how the game is currently being played. I was happy to see Nagos thri thriving things exactly. Instant kill won't uh, fit strive design, yeah. Especially since you already have like, you already literally have like uh, one touch kills in this game. So yeah, touch of death. I mean, hence a big damage. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like uh, instant kills wouldn't be what is necessary for the game to become like more enticing than it is currently. I like it, love to hate it too, but it feels stale for a while because uh, changes are not that big in the end of the day. Yeah, I, I can understand. Changes to positive bonus or removal. Yeah, I don't like positive bonus either. It, it like, it, uh... <laughs> it is way, it, it's... It's like very, very strong for certain characters, but it's like non-consequential for others. Like, I mean, if you get like... If, if Jacko, Zato, uh, what's her name, Jacko... <laughs> Chip Ramlethal gets like positive bonus. They get like infinite pressure for like an extended period of time, and I feel like it's really just it's like unfair to other characters, personally. But then again, it's just my opinion. So yeah, I feel like they should either nerf it or make it less relevant or whatnot. And characters because yeah, they do, man. They really do. Exactly, it's exactly that. I can understand the appeal and why this game is like. By, uh, liked by a part of the community, but <laughs> the game coming this year is driving me to change. Yeah, I think so too. But like I said, like I think it's going to change. They'll, they'll have to introduce like some something new to the meta, and not just new characters, but actual new new ways for the game to be played. Wow, that command grab though from Nage, man! Look at that. And Nage going completely ham. Goes for the close slash. Dark Necro Ball, oh, Lord getting opened by the command grab. And just like this, man, Nagi taking it the clean three to nail. That was sick. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it, yeah. That is currently ongoing. Uh, as long as in the meta that it's currently ongoing, there's not such a discrepancy between the top tiers and the low tiers. If, like, the, uh, the balance of the game is actually quite correct, and there's not much difference between, like, the high, uh, the high part of the tier list and the low part, then I don't mind if there's a long period during which there's no patches and whatnot. But what I really hate is when, like, there's a clear, distinct, like, gap between the top tiers and the low tiers, and there's, and you're just stuck, like, it, as it is, you know? And you just have to eat it. This is what I don't really like, like, to have, like, a long periods of time where you don't have any patches. I think the Curious Strike patch has been pushed about as far as it can go by modern FG standards. Yeah, oh, I, I don't really know, though. No. Strive is going to have some competition against SF. Oh, definitely, definitely. At least uh, <coughs> for as long as it can go uh, before people start getting NC for new path. Yeah, I look at it as, as men mental testing, seeing how I myself uh, can change up my way of thinking in the match. Okay, I can see. Strive came at the best time. 
all the game were at the end of their big support. Now the generation of edges are coming lead by yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Stripe is gonna have to do something, definitely. And I'm not saying like Stripe is gonna die or anything. No, absolutely not. Stripe is always going to have like a going to have like its community, going to have like people playing the game. But I'm just uh, I'm just talking about Strive like doing more than that and actually keeping its number one spot, you know, as the main uh, fighting game. And it's going to be hard for for it to actually even be second to third place because of like big games such as Tekken and, and Street Fighter, which are coming out. Even Grand Blue man are doing the work and. You're gonna get rollback there finally like coming out, you know, Grand Blue is actually going to come out. So it's yeah, Stripe definitely is going to have to put some efforts if they want to keep their, you know, at least top three um, place when it comes to like fight fighting games played. Stripe not gonna die, but they need to do something. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well to keep the whole of their player base. They'll always have like a player base, but to keep the current player base that they have, they're definitely going to have to do something. Something similar to Blitz, the dev devs will probably try to... This would be awesome! Because Blitz would... Uh, arguably be able to take care of characters such as... Freaking... Um, Gold Lewis, uh, Zato, and uh, Jacko, you know? This would probably be the case. They did At least we'd have another way of fighting against them, I feel. Because <laughs> right now you just have to eat and there's nothing you can do. And I would like that Blitz actually uh, tank guard crushes as well. That would be sick if that's the case. <clears throat> if it could tank like uh, guard crushes, because yeah, right now like ah, oh, it's so annoying. Sometimes you really have no other way than just to block for like 20 to 25 seconds because your opponent has like positive bonus. He has you in the corner. There's nothing you can do. It's like ah. Oh. And you just eat and you get like chipped to death and it's like, oh, okay, great. GG's, shake my hand. But yeah, it's just me, I guess. I'm being salty. But anyways, here we go with the uh, the Alpha Blade. First match went too early type, by the way. It was a quick first map. <laughs> Ziri forcing early type to pop the burst. Oh, and Ziri finally the opening right there. And early type with his signature wake up DP. Managed to block the quick Roman cancel into overhead from Ziri. Nice check right there from early type with the standing P for the anti-air goes for the fake cross up. Tried to beat the burst, but Xiri being very very patient did not give in. That being said, early type did manage to get the command grab. So we go to take pressure, to take his here. Good to get late, totally. Late. <coughs> very nice check again and the alpha blade for the kill. Just like this, early type takes the second match as well. <laughs> Ah, good lord. Okay, here we go. And Xeri going straight for the command grab for the opening. And early type again with the wake up DP, man. Oh, 6p on point. Early type going for the alpha blade, but ah, I tried to bait the burst once again. I almost got it baited, but man, Xeri deleted a little bit too much. And, well, deleted ever so slightly and managed to not get hit by it. <coughs> Knife with punish from Xeri. Oh, he's really trying to go right to her, but early tap already had his move out when he attempted to do so. We go with, oh, overhead, ooh, Gamma Blade. He's really have to hold it. <coughs> and, ooh, nice take pressure. And the jumping HS for the kill. Bye, Xiri. Xiri not out of it yet. Nice with punish. Damn. Uh, early type with the grab. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Oh lord. Ah, the delayed Alpha Blade man to get Ziri off guard. Here we go with the Gam Gam Blade. Woo! God, no, and the jumping man. Ziri not afraid. Early type DP. No, no DP actually. Wow, the bar is real. <coughs> ah, Xiru was wary of the deep. No, too far for the grab. And this should do. Good stuff from early time. 
Ah, early tap threat to his punish. Especially for him, Ziri blocked the overhead while being airborne, so that made it so that early tap could not be punished. Oh, and here we go with the Suki into the Ototoy combo! Here we go, the auto cross up. This is so cheeky, it's so hard to see. Early tap trying to go for the overhead. <coughs> Ziri with the side switch combo. Goes for Arisugawa san. Oh lord! Nice blocks from Ziri. Oh, try to get the closest, but couldn't quite get it. No entire. Oh, this is set point, by the way. Ziri absolutely needs this one if he wants to stay alive. Damn early type, man. Oh lord, finally popped him the burst. <laughs> and the air to air in favor of Ziri manages to stay alive. 2 to 1. Okay, and on to the next battle. Nice air to air again from Xiri, man. Definitely on. Wow! That was the absolute worst place you could possibly burst. Not enough to kill, obviously, but. <coughs> Find the DP, man, right in the block string. Wow. Nice bar from Xiri. Oh, no! That was an unfortunate DP from early type. Dual two. Let's rock. Double Totsugeki from Ziri. Try to go for the fake cross up, but very nice block from early type. Okay, and here we go with the pressure from early type. Mm, Try to go for the empty low. Nice blocks from Ziri, man. Nice blocks. <laughs> ah, nice air to air, man. They almost got the juggle, though. Ah, nice confirms. Here we go, Xiri with the corner carry. That should be able to kill. Yes! Wow, Xiri bringing it back, man. Two to two. Okay, let's see if early type changes something in his game plan in order to bring it back. Oh lord. Ah man, they are trying to go for the air grab, but no one was home. <coughs> wow. Early type going, man. Going for the extension station. Guess what, break. Oh lord, Xiri, man, with the tab dust. Not gonna get. Oh yeah. Corner combo. Early type popping the burst. Ah, Lord. Here we go, Iruka Sound. Ah, the witch punishes. Oh! <laughs> what the hell happened? Whew. The momentum, man. Yeah, danger. May cannot afford to. Yeah. Yeah. May in dire straits. Ooh! Oh, man. Early type is being so nimbly. And Xeri still clutches it out at the end. Set point for Xeri. Let's see how this pans out. Mm. Oh lord. <laughs> Here we go with the jump in. Ah yeah, Xeri trying to look for that DP, man. But early tap not giving it to him. Ooh. Ah, nice catch is the back dash. Goes for the air to air. Ah, man, Xiri looking for that DP, man. Here we go with the back dash from early type. Probably to get out of the corner. <coughs> oh, and the jump back HS for the kill. And just like this, man. So, T for the prediction. <coughs> One second. You're fine. So, uh, so Xiri took it. Update the predictions real quick. So, any Dark Necro versus Gaziri. Let's see who will have the right to fight against Nage. <coughs> For now, oh, Dark Necro got open. 
Good lord, man. May for the win. That would be that would be fun. I don't know if Viri uh, fought against Nage today. Not quite sure. Wow, in that forest. Wow! Dog one with the bait of the first. <laughs> and ah yeah, here you go with the Beyblade for the kill. Oof! Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, nice jumping from Ziri. Getting the corner carry. <laughs> ah. We go with the block from Ziri. Ah, Ziri getting the opening with the sweep. That the slide, I'd say. Forcing Dark Nigger to pop the burst. Ah, the jumping is here. But yeah, Bagdash getting caught by the 4S. Flipper will be so happy indeed indeed. Ah, and just like this, yeah. Ziri taking the second round of this first game. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, ah, the big Beyblade man this is gonna hurt a lot. Half of your life is uh, through the window. Oh, there we go, the whiff punish. Very nice whiff punish from Ziri. Goes for the cross up. We go to close S, close S. Oh lord. Ah, nice. With the delayed Roman. Ooh, is this gonna be it? <laughs> ah, this was an unfortunately timed overdrive. That's what I. Yeah. And yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Zero would have won if he uh, actually uh, did the command grab. Ooh, this is bad. Yeah, good stuff from Xeri. Manages to clutch it out right at the end. Takes the first match. Oh, and uh, Xeri is not Japanese, by the way. <laughs> Let me update his flag. My bad, my bad. Here we go. <coughs> Xeri force pop the burst. Hmm. Go with the Totsugeki. Oh no, that was a badly timed grab. From Xeri gets jumped on. Ooh. Manages to get out of the corner though. Oh, goes for the command grab. Goes for the low. Into Orca. <laughs> May dynamic. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, and Dark Tank were waking up with the overdrive. Thing alive. Good lord. Oh, and the double foot came into the grab, but Xiri was on point there. Just jump out and got the kill with the jumping HS. Very nicely done. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, here we go with the jump in. Totsugeki. Ah, ah, ah. Xiri with the knockdown. Catches. Dark Tank Group. Oh, Lord! That would have spelled death, man. Oh, is this gonna kill? No, it's. Oh, yes, it is! That combo was sick! Ziri on fire, man. Takes the lead 2 to 1, 2 to 0, actually. Let's see what Dark Negro is gonna do. Ziri is really, really playing good, man. <laughs> good Lord. Yeah, you see these gems, man. These players that don't necessarily participate to, like, offline tournaments. And you never heard about them, but there are so many killers in Asia, man. Not just Japan, by the way. As you can see, like in China, or even we have this very good, uh, strong Jackal player called Arani also uh, from Taiwan. Like, you have so many killers in so many different countries that unfortunately don't get the... Don't get the... the, the well, don't get the time to travel or don't have ne the necessary funds to travel to participate to majors. But they're definitely here. I'm happy that I can actually showcase these players because yeah, they really deserve like to to at least participate to these big tournaments so that they can really showcase their skills. And I feel like Ziri definitely he's definitely part of this, you know, definitely part of these uh, you know these um, these unknown players that are just really super hard, uh, super super strong. <laughs> I hope all the Asian killers will come to Evo with the hype. Yeah, I don't think Ziri will ever be able to do so, but yeah, hopefully one day he will. I really hope so, but.
kills all over the world just at combo breakers. So exactly, man. Exactly, man. We go with the uh, grand final. It's gonna be none other than Nage versus Xiri. 160 is okay. I'm biased due to EME. Ah, okay, okay. Being too big of as a reach, I can understand. Uh, well, in, in AG, it's definitely doable. As long as both uh, players use um, fiber it, and uh, wired fiber, obviously, it's definitely doable. But they need to do yet, like, be wired fiber. If not, it's, it might be a little bit complicated. But usually, like, most people in Asia have fiber. So it's normally not... It's, it's 160 is usually not a big deal. Yeah, from, in my experience, like, 200 MS is unplayable. 160 to 180 is okay-ish. 180 being a little bit tight. But uh, 160 is definitely okay. Depending on uh, the setups of both players. Being said, holy freaking lord, look at... Man, look at Nage with the kill. <laughs> Good lord. Boom. Good stuff from Ma Nage taking the first round. Okie dokie. Okie I'm probably not going to commentate much for uh, this particular match, guys. I'm really sorry. My throat is really starting to kill me. <coughs> I don't want to drink again, T, because I'm definitely not going to be sleeping tonight if I do. Anyways, here we go. The far S. And Nage trying to keep Zero in the corner. Zero finding his way out of it. Goes for a quick cancel off of the grab. Just to uh, be sure that he doesn't... Eh. That, that his opponent didn't like backdash or try to jump on uh, to, to evade the grab. Oh lord, here we go with the banana! Totsugeki attack, oh lord! <coughs> oh no! Here we go to closest! From, from, from Nage. Oh, Xiri gonna get the juggle, no, he dropped it! Oh lord, and Nagi going for the cross of mix, mix, mix. Just like this, takes the first match. Nagi in the lead, 1 to 0. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go with a vibe. The hammer time, actually. Damn, so many hammers, holy freaking lord. <coughs> that was the carpenter. Okay, anyways, here we go with the overhead from Viziri. Goes for the grab. Ah, uh, goes for the... 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 the, the let's go. The, uh, the cross up. Viziri again with the cross up, man. Finds the opening. Probably gonna get the kill. <coughs> yeah, this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Viziri. Showing that he's not out of it. Tossing grands on winner side? Say it isn't so. Of course it is. It's not any Faust, it's Nage Faust. That's the reason why. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with uh, Nage Faust. Going for hammer time yet again. Tries to bait the burst. Ah, and Ziri retaliates with the... Uh, the uh, wow, the command grab. Two command grabs in a row, man. Probably noticing that Nage was a little bit passive. Say it isn't so, I will not go. In the lights up. Anyways, <coughs> here we go with ooh, <laughs> Nage and the entire. And Guziri using Arisugawa san to try to close the distance. Wow, that was a sick quick cancel BRC. They should be able to kill if not. No! Guziri drops it. <coughs> and Guziri <coughs> finds the opening with the jumping. Takes H. Manages to take the second match. Definitely not going down without a fight. Hmm. Is Ziri gonna take it? If Ziri manages to do a reset, that would be pretty freaking sick. Bonk! <laughs> exactly. Ziri loves to bonk people. Ooh, lord, here we go, the wait. Close as, close as. Alright, alright, alright! <coughs> and Ziri trying to find the opening, gets the opening with the Totsugeki. Ah, oh, that was an unfortunate burst right there. And Nagi with the pickups, man. This dude knows. Ah, here we go, the Totsugeki. And man, the freaking standing K entire of Nagi. Okay, he's got the hammer time. Wow, and he's here pressing buttons. Gonna get the side switch. Nagi not bursting. 
not giving a schmucks, actually. Oh lord, and the quick dust for the kill using the Roman cancel. <laughs> Good stuff from Nage. Takes a lead. See how this pans out. We go to forest. Process. Oh lord. Uh oh. Oh lord. Okay, Rudo with the jump in from Nage. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna die, man. El Gary with the process and Nagi with the corner pressure. Got the little Faust, got the hammer, got the wig. It's wig time. Your wig is on fire. Wow, and Nagi with the bait of the burst gets the kill, man. That was sick. <coughs> Nagi getting the uh, lead, a two to one. Let's see if uh, Siri can actually manage to bring it back. We shall see. Mm. Good lord. Okay, no anti air. That's unfortunate. Zeri finds the opening. Ooh, ah, gets the uh, counter hit. Uh, six feet. We go to closest. <coughs> wow. Zeri with the opening. Goes for a fully charge. Uh, six H. Oh, lord. Don't get cool. And Zeri, man. Oh, no. Again, drops it, man. <laughs> but still okay, gets the kill. Good stuff. Oh lord. Uh oh. Nice with punish. Well, recovery punish from my. Oh, Xeri going for the empty low. Oh, here we go with the grab. Xeri got the corner position and goes for the low. <laughs> it gets the burst, man, and just like this, man, whatever you can do, I can do better. Leary, man. We have a perfect tie. That being said, Nugget does have uh, the winner's... Uh, um, well, he's on the winner's side of the bracket, so he only needs one set to win it. Whereas Xeri needs to win uh, two sets back-to-back -back if he wants to take this Rodra Cup. So let's see how this pans out. Wow, air-to-air -air with Nugget, man. Ooh, you go to far as counter hit. <laughs> Max Ziri on point with the 6 H uh, with the 6 P. Okay. Nage in dire straits. Ooh, get some freaking whiff punish there. <laughs> little Faust is here to play, but Little Faust is actually not going. Oh, here we go, Little Faust is here. Nage taking this opportunity to get out of harm's way. It gets the freaking Oh no, that juggle man using the bomb that was sick. Here we go. Your wig is on fire, bro. Nagi immediately goes into the overdraft for the kill. Good stuff from Nagi. And just like this, we are on tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Nagi can seal the deal. We shall see. Oh lord, here we go, closest. <coughs> oh good lord, I'm gonna die, man. I'm gonna die, dude. Oh no, and the bonk is real, and here we go with Ziri and the Berlin, the, ba the Berlin, the whale, the whale, it's a whale. Oh, there we go, the bar from Nage, man. Trying to get out of the corner. Almost got the O, and this should do. Okay, we have a reverse set point. No, actually, it's not really reverse, because Ziri needs two sets, but we are on the verge of either a bracket reset or Nage winning the tournament. We shall see. Nagi going for the grab. What's gonna happen? Here we go to closest. Well, it's Nagi we're talking about, of course. Oh lord, that was punished. Oh no, got hit by the Totu Geku. Here we go, Nagi man, just jumping out with the D. <laughs> that sounded strange. Anyways, oh lord, and Air Xiri in the house, yo. Our little Faust is here to play. You can see Nagi trying to push Xiri on little Faust to force him. Uh, to get out oh, pressure, no punish right there from Nage. And this should do. We have a bracket reset, ladies and gents. Good stuff from Ziri, man. Good lord. Okay, and reset it is. Three to one. Three to two, actually. Ziri on a freaking steamroll. <coughs> Good lord. Okay, uh, let me update the names. Uh, okay, and let me update the match name as well. A grand final reset.
Good to go. Kenage in dire straits, actually. It's a little more dangerous this year. Ah, good lord. <coughs> okay. Let's see if Nage can bring it back. Okay, I'm desperately hoping. I'm. I. I. In normal times, I would lie and I would tell you, nah, I'm loving it. I'm just loving it. But I have to say that my throat is a little bit unhappy that there's a bracket reset. I'm not gonna lie. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. More entertaining for you guys, right? So, so it's fine, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna take the L, literally, and uh, just. I'm just I'm just gonna man it through. <laughs> I'm gonna, I need to. I need to. I'm gonna eat some honey. I'll be right back. Good luck. Okay, I ate some honey. Hopefully, it's gonna sustain me until the end of this set. I hope so. Well, my, my throat definitely feels better after the honey. Okay, that being said, here we go with Ziri trying to find the opening with your head. Get said by the Mix Mix Mix. The Schmix. Oh, but great, man! Ziri already up one round. Is Ziri actually gonna take the lead? That would be pretty freaking sick. Ah, here we go to jump in. Nice blocks from Ziri. <laughs> Gets hit by the command throw, though. Oh lord, here we go. Oh, you got opened up. Your wig is on fire. It's not gonna be enough to kill though because guts. Let's see how this wins out. Yeah, Ziri just needs one hit. Ah, Tochigeku. Oh lord. Oh, here we go. Tochigeki again. Tochigeki again. And Nagi going for the quit, the tap dust for the kill. <coughs> Nagi not out of it yet. Clutches it out. I guess the knockdown. Wig is on the way. Oh lord, I hate to see it. Wow, that did a ton of damage, man. <coughs> so many bombs. Uh oh, oh no, you got hit. Ah, Lil Fuss is here to play. Oh no, Ziri man goes for the command grab. Is he gonna make it back? I wish we we're gonna. I wish we have a. A, uh, a, oh, ah, guilty. No! That was a very nice burst. And Nagi takes the first match. Very nicely done. Ah, Lord. And on to the next battle. Good Lord. Okay, here we go to Forest. Ah, Ziri. <laughs> Ziri with the jump in. Wow, nice blocks. That was sick blocks from Ziri, man. This guy is a freaking robot, man. I swear to God. Oh, Lord, you got opened by the forbidden uh, normal. That being said, Nage with the command grab goes for the empty grab. There we go. Your wig is on fire, bro. Goes for the overhead. <coughs> oh, Lord. Oh, no. No, Nage. Ziri. Oh, almost got the jump in. You go with the super mix, mix, mix. Ah, ah, the wig is here. Yeah. Ah, Xiri in jail. Oh, ah, gets air to aired by Nage. Oh, no. Xiri's still alive. <coughs> oh, no. Not like this. Not like this. And just like this, Xiri, man, brings it back. <coughs> Managed to keep his, not only his burst, but reverse, man. With the comeback, that was six. That was, that was six. That was sick. Man, my, my, my brain is melting. Oh, wow. Descending game, man. To get rid of the Tosageki. That was sick. Okay, very nice back dash from Ziri. Uh, yeah, here we go with uh, the wig. Again, man, with uh, the command grab. Your wig is real. Finally, Ziri forced to pop the burst. Ah, Lord. Uh, uh. 
very nice sweep from Xiri. Or just kind of gets followed the burst. <coughs> ah, this is death. Yep. Wow. That face from Lil Fazzo. Okay, on to the next battle. Woo, big overhead from Nage. Ah, here we go with the air to air. Nage almost got the juggle. Fortunately, was uh was disturbed by his uh, by little Faust, mini Faust. Oh lord, he was with the jump in. No, not like he's still having the wall break though. Oh lord, the spear is here. Nice jump in from Ziri, gonna get the kill. <laughs> Ziri not out of it yet. I feel like we're gonna get a. I feel like it's gonna go right down to the wire. I don't know why. I feel like it's gonna go down to the wire. My, my lord. Have some pity upon this poor Kayan, guys. Have some pity, guys. Come on. Anyways, here we go with the jump in. And Nagi with the 2D counter hit, man. Let's go, Xeris. <laughs> okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Hmm. <coughs> Okay, May taking the lead. Ziri taking the uh not not taking the lead, actually not yet taking the lead. Getting the juggle. Oh almost get the punish on the dolphin. Here we go with the spear. Ah, Ziri with the blocks. Very nice air to air. Ah, gets the opening with the two D the two S counter hit. Here we go with the juggle. Ziri. Oh Lord gets hit by the overhead. Here we go with the command throw. Safe jump. Ah, the wig is on fire though. <coughs> and here we go with Nage, man. Oh, almost got hit by the Totsugiki. Things are looking pretty good for him. Ah, wake up, Golden Burst. Ah, and then entire with the follow up from Nage. That was sick. Nage taking the lead 2 to 1. What is Xiri gonna do? Is he gonna be able to seal it out? Or is he gonna be able to actually bring it back? I'm sorry. Not seal it out. That was a pretty crazy entire, I'm not gonna lie. Man, 2k does everything. The Faust 2k. Entires, it's a sweep. It, it hits low, it hits high. And it's crazy, man. It's a two hit hit, by the way. So yeah, it's, no, it's crazy, man. The 2k is. Is it 2k or is it 3k? I don't remember, actually. It might be 3k actually now that I think about it. Or 6k? I actually don't know. Anyways, here we go with the air to air. Ah man, the standing P for the anti-air. Nagi looking pretty swole, man. Oh! Nagi with the trump. <coughs> here we go to close S. Hang Ziri not afraid to go and grab. Goes for the empty low. Cross up. Wow, big six. H counter hit. <coughs> and, and here we go to grab. And just like this, Nage is on tournament point. Let's see if he can seal the deal and deliver me from this torture <laughs> that is coughing. We shall see. Ah, oh Lord, the 6P, man. The 6P. Here we go with the golf club. And man, Nage getting the follow up, man, with the air to air. That being said, look at the damage. Xiri not out of this yet. Getting the wall break. Ah. Damn, Nage going for the quick cancel. Too far for the wall bounce, unfortunately. <laughs> And here we go back. Oh, here we go. Ah, Nagi decided not to go for the teleport. Wow, that teleport was sick though. 
Ah, uh, the Trump is here. That was probably not the best option for... Oh! And <laughs> he can jumping deep for the kill! And just like 